I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mitten Madness. I come all the way down here on the left. I put one finger <clears throat> and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line in. Curve line up, over, curve line down, and leave it floating. I come back over here to the left and I just draw a slightly curved line over, connect. Down here back over by the dot, I'm going to draw a straight line down off the page. On the left, straight line down, curve line on the right, and come inside and draw straight lines across. Okay? Now I take two fingers and I put a dot. And from that dot, I draw a big curve line up, over, and down. Right where I stop, little curve line out, in, and down. Come back over here to the dot. We're just going to extend that a little bit and a slightly curve line over. Connect. Come back to the left. Straight line out, curve line over, straight line up, connect inside little straight lines filling in this space okay this is the foreground and it is being taken up by these giant mittens I come inside the left one and I draw one two three four straight lines Starting over here on top, I just draw a wavy line down, jump over, wavy line down, up, and connect. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're going to do that on each one, wavy lines out, and jump over, wavy line 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 out and jump over. Now I come over to my right and I draw the same thing. One, two, three, four straight lines. Starting at the top, wavy line, jump over, wavy line up, and connect. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Wavy line over, down, jump over, wavy line up, Connect. Wavy line out, in, jump over, wavy line in, connect. Wavy line out, in, jump over, wavy line out, in, connect. Okay, now I'm going to frame this and I'm going to be using just a straight curved line. So I come up and I draw a curve line. Everybody's is going to be a little bit different. Curve line because we all draw differently. Curve line. Maybe it's a wavy line. Wavy line. Wavy line. Keep going. Wavy line down and off the page. So this gives us our first frame, but we're not done because now we're going to add to the frame starting at the top. Now up here at this corner we draw Wavy line down, wavy line up, wavy line down, up, keep going, wavy line down, up, down, up, wavy line down, up, wavy line down, up, keep going, keep going, wavy line, wavy line down, up, wavy line down back up off the page. Now we're going to draw curve line out, up, connect, curve line up, curve line up, connect. Come over here, this one looks like curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, connect, little curve line. This one looks like it could do a curve line. 
Come all the way over to this one. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Maybe one right here, curve line. So now we have a double frame, okay? We're still not done because now come over to here, put a dot. From that dot, we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line down, connect. Come back to the dot. We're just going to draw a curve line out and connect. At this end, one, two, three curve lines, one, two, three curve lines. Come inside this space and let's just draw a flat oval. Come inside and go one, two dots, triangle. Okay, if you have room, curve line up, over, connect, little baby curve line on the end. Come over to this space and draw a curve line out, in, connect, come up top, curve line out, in, connect. But we're still not done because now this is the foreground, this is the middle ground. We're going to fill in the middle ground some more. One, two, three. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. Wherever you see room. Let's do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And let's put baby circle, baby circle, baby circle at the end of each one of those straight lines. Now this can be considered the middle ground, but it also can be considered part of the background. We'll know better when we see it colored in. Sometimes it's hard to see what you're doing until you add that little bit of color. Baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, Baby circle, baby circle. Okay. Now let's see. It looks to me like that's plenty. Yes. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is color in this little guy over here. So I'm using the cool colors. So I'm using purple. Color in his little top purple. Then I come in and I do his triangle orange. And these are orange right here. Then with my black, I don't have to color a lot of this. I can put a little bit of black on the face, but I don't have to do a lot of it because it's already mapped out with my black lines. Okay, so that's that. The rest of this, we're going to be using our blues. The first thing I do with my regular blues, I'm going to come in and I'm just going to do a dark blue line on the inside black line of my background. Just to give the illusion that my mitten madness is caught in a snowdrift. Then, since I have my blue out, I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to color in all of those baby circles we just did at the tips of each one of these straight lines. Take your time. If you get tired, stop and don't go any further, but go ahead and finish up all of these baby, 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 baby circles. Okay? Now, once you've done that, the rest of this is going to be done with turquoise and blue-green. So get your blue-green out. And this is a good example of how you fill in the space, like I am right here, with a loop-de-loop, -loop, which gives you a light blue-green, light turquoise. So I'll go all the way around <clears throat> in this space. But then I come in and I do one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three dark lines of blue green, and next to it, I put some light lines. Come over and do my other space right here loop de loop, loop de loop, loop de loop, 
with my blue green come down dark straight lines to fill in this space come in and do light to fill in this space okay now with my blue green I'm going to loop de loop this outside section of my frame and I want to be careful not to hit the top part because those are supposed to be icicles so I come in around the drips with my blue green and I color this in lightly because Mitten Madness should be in the middle of a snowstorm and I know there's been blizzards across the nation lately this is putting a fun spin on a weather that's been kind of deadly been crazy mitten madness there we go okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my mitten madness all colored in this is foreground middle ground background okay bye bye